back with my buddy Dan from the internet of the Power Report and Audio Phase podcast. All right, so let's get right into it here. Um, we both worked at TYT at the same time. I would say we were considered to be like pretty good buddies. I mean, I consider us that, and we're we some we, would say. We would strategize a little bit. We uh, worked together and, and had solidarity Wait, with one another. Sorry to be Sam, but like I got to adjust my, I feel very close. There we go. Our heads, our heads are the same size now. Perfect. All, good. all right. Well, so yeah. then let's just, I mean, tell people what you did, how you had to work with uh, screaming, crying, Jimmy Dore on uh, aggressive progressives and others. Uh. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <joking>. so, <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. I mean, so, yeah, at TYT, I, I, I really feel very privileged and blessed with what I got to do. I literally was just an annoying, this is a time you definitely can't do this anymore because the internet's too wild. Same, but I was just same. A, I, I love my time at TYT, yeah. Yeah, like, I, I was a very just, like, virulent commenter back when TYT was on, um, uh, Al Gore's internet, aka current TV, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, I made friends with one of the social media producers. Um, she's now um, Shauna Naomi. She works at the um, New York Times. I'm sorry, Los Angeles Times. Wonderful individual. Um, but yeah, I was just like a very virulent commenter there. And so I was like, hey, I would really love to just like visit the studio and see Jank and also um, JR, who I talked about in the um, earlier part. And yeah they they let me they totally just like yeah yo here's the address we'll be on you that shit's not gonna happen anymore um sorry but um yeah i got a great <laughs> opportunity i was able to like you know make inroads with that and then while I, I end up going to uc berkeley at the perfect time as folks like ben shapiro the daily wire dennis prager um miley Annopoulos were doing a specific strategy where they would go to college campuses and try to ambush much like you with me with the jimmy door question <laughs> they would try to ambush um <laughs> folks about different like hard uh left-wing issues yeah and then record that on video and then go like uh socialist destroyed by ben shapiro ben shapiro destroys college student and i'd be like this is a game and i yeah. know exactly what this is and i'm going to destroy it and thankfully jank and anna and john idarola and i also shout out brett ehrlich hassan piker they saw a lot of potential in me and they you know tried to integrate me into their shows also i'll shout out david kohler they integrated me into the company even while i was working in college and so once i graduated and i came back down to southern california um yeah there was a place for me and so that's where i got more acquainted with you that's where i kind of learned a lot of the things that's why i learned to get this wonderful little sure microphone that i have that i can share with you so we all sound nice and crispy like like that's where i learned a lot of the content skills that i have that i'm able to share with different um companies individuals i now do good morning bad news on TikTok and snapchat if you see those stories um and content i do power report like i said my own stream and podcast with uh bam and c's and sean and yasmin khan um and a number of other like tyt contributors and people in that space and emma you've been a guest on one of like the most popular episodes too that i really enjoyed about like what i'm the very popular looks like you know yeah, yeah look, we many people are saying this many, many people. people many people but you know a, a, enough self-adulation um folks can check out the letter hack also shout out to him i did his uh stream where i got drawn as an artist which you should totally do as well because like he does a really good um very flattering i would say um artistic piece of um you while talking to you and interviewing so that's a great thing check out his channel so you can get all the self-adulation uh, yeah exactly. we had the yes, yes. back on recently yeah yes for his um his comic. mondo hollywood right yeah mondo mondo hollywood land is comic it was very yes mondo hollywood great yeah, guy, but yes yeah yeah absolutely we love him so check out that stream for all the self-adulation um Jimmy Dore stuff. So yeah, so I, I, I didn't on... mean to throw this on you. I just no, no, figured it's all good. I'm all you've, good. Yes. you've gone like on a tweet storm about your time working with him and you worked very closely with him. So I'm, I'm mining you for content here. I mean, this is what, this is what true friends in this space do. Um, um so I, spill I'm going to mine you. I'm going to spill the tea, but I'm also going to, um, hi Dorsey. <laughs> We're going to get two clips out of this bad boy. And I don't know if you're ready for this, but we'll do it anyways. Yeah. So, um, 
and and you probably know what we're talking about we've talked about this before but the, the, on the first thing so yeah i without getting into too many details but to tease some details i may want to talk about in the future i made a deal with the devil and so part of that deal was being able to work on you know be one of the founding producers of the damage report which is like one of my like most proudest accomplishments in life great show. with john adarola john adarola great human being wonderful guy great ally wonderful person absolutely um and then no filter with anna kasparian um depending on the day front of the show <laughs> and um, no, definitely yeah no i <laughs> friend of mine for sure no 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 yes totally um and i i have to balance a lot of different things when it comes to her but again this is about jimmy Dore. so in doing and getting to do those like great opportunities where i got to work with these really awesome people this is when anna kasparian was in her um f dave rubin era and i got to like fuel a lot of that and I will also take a little bit of credit that I don't often do on air for saying that, like, I definitely wasn't successful in all of this, as folks can maybe tell on any given day. But I tried to introduce Anna to folks like she already knew of Michael Brooks, but I tried to, like, incorporate more of that into her media diet. Folks like Richard Wolf from mm. Economic Update. Um, I tried to push her a little bit left from her. You know, like her more liberal ways that we all kind of come from. I mean, I think you and I have talked about how in our past we both share like Bill Maher as a person who in the aughts was someone who was actually considered to be on the left. But over time, we saw that especially his religious takes were not so much anti-Christian. They were just like anti-muslim or yeah. like anti yeah so like we grew out of that but you people need these platforms ultimately to figure out where they're ultimately going to land and i'm thankful for my experience at tyt for that but my deal with the devil was <clears throat> also working on aggressive progressives with jimmy Dore. um not not my finest hours for sure and folks can check out um the story that i think was covered on a little bit of majority report before for that but my number one thing, and I think Emma, thankfully you've like also quoted this at times, he just doesn't read. That's all I want you to know about Jimmy Dore. He just doesn't read. I would spend hours of my day producing stories for aggressive progressives, giving him these angles and these takes. I can say a lot worse things about him. Honestly, I had a really funny rapport with him that again, I talked about on the letter hack show. So uh, shameless plug for that. But I would give him stories and 90% of the time he would go, okay, I could talk about um, this story about union workers or this story about labor or this story about, you know, something that would, pro that would progress the, you know, more left than the main show cause, which was what aggressive progressive slash agitprop with Hassan Piker that I ultimately ended up producing as well. That's the whole purpose of that member show was to do something that was a little bit further left than the main show's topics. Um, most of the time, Jimmy Dore would just opt to talk about his vacations in Italy and, you know, conveniently omit the fact that he would uh, cuss out Francesca Fiorentini and specifically single out other women who worked at TYT for mm. interesting reasons. Uh, but yeah, like <laughs> he, Jimmy Dore can have a good sense of humor. I think he's just seen the checks come in. I really do think this. I, I believe in my own personal opinion that he's seen the checks come in. He's like... Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> and so he, he's going where the wind blows. We've seen other pundits do this. And I mean, it, th there's a lot of speculation that folks who watch this like leftist media space do that I think is wrong and baseless. But a lot of stuff, you just got to call it like you see it. <laughs> and, and if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it's a, it's a duck. So. It, it, All yes, right. Well, absolutely. there you go. Well, there you go. Um, that, that's our kind of history together and some of our background working on that stuff.